But if you do have someone like him in the dressing room, you have to get him in the team. And if you get him in the team, you have to play a system in, some, in a way that suits him. There is no doubt this is not Oli's plan. You know, leaving Sancho, Greenwood and Rashford on the bench is not the plan. That wasn't the plan in the summer for the recruitment. It wasn't the plan in the summer for Oli. That's not how he was thinking he was going to play. He's played 4-2-3-1 last 37 matches. So this is not his plan to go to 5-3-2. But the change of system, it did look like it suited Cristiano Ronaldo today because it took the pressure off him from a defensive point of view. Seeing him up front against Liverpool last week or against Leicester the week before on his own, against three centre-backs at Leicester and two, you know, Van Dijk and um, Canati last week, he looked like a little boy. But today he looked like... You know, it suited him perfectly to allow him to play in those moments. So I think today was a good day for him, not just because of the goal, but because it looked like he played in a team that was he was part of rather than the last few weeks. He's been exposed, been asked to press when he can't do that. I can't help thinking about Van der Beek. Who's put the name on him? Who's sponsoring that at Manchester United, that 40 million quid that's been spent on that kid who sat in the stand and not kicked a football now for nearly two, well, I don't know, 18 months? Sancho, if he's not careful, he's going to end up exactly the same. So this well, is what does he have to do then? Or is, it just, is it just that the, the system doesn't have room well, he's for He's played in some pretty appalling performances in the last few years. Not him, I mean team performances. He's come into a club that's looked completely disjointed in terms of their football. He's played in a far better team and unit at Dortmund. He's coming in and probably thinking, what the hell am I in here? What is this? There's no organisation, there's no structure, the defensive work rate is, is poor. He's actually the only player, when you look at the defensive running stats of Manchester United's front players, that's got anywhere near, I think he's like five, fifth or sixth out of the top, you know, we looked at the top four uh, front players, top four clubs front players, he was in the top ten. So he's had to put in the shift in. But he must be sat on that bench there thinking, what am I doing? Because now he's thinking, well, where do I play in that system? Because I don't see him in a three in midfield, and I don't see him probably in the two up front. Oh. So he's probably thinking, where does it, where, where, where's my career at Manchester United? And Van der Beek's thinking the same. So, look, today's been a good day, but it does yeah, cause problems elsewhere. 